Hi children, welcome all of you to my next video of C.V. Raman, the pride of India. Children, in the previous videos, you have come to know about the greatness of C.V. Raman, his research for five years in the science of light called optics and how he was very happy at the news of uh, Professor Compton getting the Nobel Prize. So all these things uh, we have seen in the previous videos. So when Raman discovered the passing of light through a liquid chemical, for the first time in the world, everybody got amazed. They were surprised with this new discovery. So that became the red letter day and in 1930 for this discovery which is called Raman effect in physics C.V. Raman was awarded with the world's greatest Nobel Prize in which field physics. Okay children now let us continue with the whereabouts of C.V. Raman. Whereabouts means where was he born? When was he born? Right. He was born in Trichy. Trichy means Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. November 7th, 1888. Very easy to remember children. One tribulate. And the date is November 7th. Okay. And his father was a college physics teacher. That is the point. How Raman got the interest in physics means... His father was physics teacher at the college, means lecturer. So naturally he was a brilliant student right from the start. And when Raman passed his matriculation, matriculation means right now 10th class, those days it was called matric. His parents were keen to send him abroad for higher studies. But unfortunately, due to some medical problems, means health issues, a British surgeon advised them against it. He has some problem. That time he had a problem, that's why he couldn't go. So he stayed in the country to do the MA course at Presidency College in Madras. He stayed in India itself. He didn't go anywhere. So he went to Madras from Tiruchirappalli and there in Presidency College he did his MA course. Right. All of you know, I think Madras those days, now it is called Chennai. Okay, children? Right. And science had already made an impression on him. Why? He started writing research papers for science journals. Science journal. Journal synonym is a magazine. Isn't it? Where you can find only science related articles. So he wrote many research papers. And at the age of 19 only he became the member of the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. I think you remember this building. Where was it? Kolkata. Isn't it? Baubajar Street. Yes. At the age of 19, he became the member of that particular great organization means IACS, Indian Association for Cultivation of Science. How great am I? Right. And his parents all thought that he should become an administrator. Like that only became in the finance ministry in Kolkata, he became an AO, administrative officer. But unfortunately, he is interested in science, isn't it? Though he was doing accounts, no, he was unhappy. What happened? He used to spend his hours after office in the lab of the association. So morning going to office, evening coming to that Bahubajar state, happily doing his research. Like this it was going on. Slowly his interest towards acoustics. A-C-O-U-S-T-I-C-S. Acoustics. The science of the sound. See, the previous video, optics, science of light. Now, acoustics, science of sound. He started, he started showing interest in this. And he started like research, how the stringed instruments like the violin and sitar could produce harmonious music. Harmonious means melodious. I think you might have heard the music of violin, somebody playing violin. And uh, sitar, not guitar, it is a sitar. Isn't it? North Indian instrument, sitar. 
and he was elected to the royal society of london in 24 and became a knight by the british empire in 1929 it was a high honor for any great scientist children this word knight means don't think day opposite night k n i g h t knight knight means warrior see in those days in the british empire somebody is awarded that knighthood means something great and they feel so great that is the knight don't think he went to war it is like a rank yes sivi raman sir you are god you are blessed or you are awarded with the knighthood that's why that sir title came before his name sir sivi raman so whoever awarded with this particular knighthood this title they used to be addressed sir before before the name right and uh, he told all the young scientists only one thing scientists who are coming who want to do research what you have to do no please look at the world don't simply stay in the laboratories don't confine confine means just stick to laboratories many of us what we think a scientist is one who does research in the laboratory of course it's correct today you see this pandemic is on scientists are uh, like uh, doing research day and night 24 into 7 for the vaccine not one country every country is doing some countries are saying that we have already done what they have done see discovering or manufacturing or inventing a vaccine is not great once that vaccine is administered means taken by all are there any side effects are good that is most important so scientists are working that is different but cv raman sir said don't simply stick to laboratory you come out of the world and start looking at the world you learn from the world also so that your research can be fruitful see what a wonderful advice he gave to the young scientists and cv raman was the first indian scholar who studied all in india and received the nobel prize now now here this is very important point he didn't go out of the country complete his education was in our country so great no so without going anywhere to london or many universities are there oxford harvard great universities other in the european countries or what you call it he can go to america but he didn't go so studying in india he received the nobel prize and not only that he was the first asian and the first non white to win such a great award in science first asian and first non white because we are not white no generally nobel prizes used to be received by the white people only until cv raman sir received so we are blacks according to americans and europeans so he was the first asian and also the first non white almost we are black only no though we are come not completely black as black as africans right he passed away in 1970 on november 21st but his memories are with us see sir november 21st 1970 he passed away but his memories are still with us children here you should note one point his birth date is on when 7th november and is a date of a passing away or leaving this world november 21st february 28 the day on which he discovered raman effect so already i told you in the previous video the first discovery what he made regarding the light passing through the liquid chemical which is called the raman effect it was done on 28th feb means february that's why the government of india declared it as national science day so every february 28th across the country all schools colleges what not people who love science i told in the first video itself you to did most of you who is listening to my video watching this video you to try now with your small little hands you could invent certain things and now you are coming to eighth standard also next year you see when you are growing up no your ideas also grow naturally you may invent don't know how many of you uh, would become scientists who knows so 
February 28th, every year, National Science Day is celebrated because on the same day C. V. Raman sir discovered the Raman effect. And why it was done? Okay, sir, he did. For why to celebrate? To commemorate. That is a beautiful word here. Children, commemorate. C O M M E M O R A T E. Commemorate means to make it as a memory. To think as a memory. His remarkable achievement in science. What an achievement! Not ordinary achievement. Remarkable achievement, isn't it? So from then onwards, Feb twenty eight was declared as National Science Day, and every year, isn't it? We have been celebrating this beautiful National Science Day once again, recalling the greatness. reminding the greatness of uh, our great uh, scientist the nobel prize winner in physics uh, sir chandrasekhar venkata raman the pride of uh, india so children with this our lesson has been successfully completed a small vid- assignment i am going to share you so hope definitely you will do it but rewatch the video nana listen to my words rewatch the video then you proceed to the assignment okay children bye